2004 Chevy Express van. We'll have a problem with the um, power steering pump. You can see under the car, it's uh, dripping oil pretty bad. So, I went under the car and uh, uh, the power steering pump is below here. You can look there. You can see where the is leaking from because it's dripping right now. So everything looks like a rusted down here. I can see the drop coming down now. There you go. So uh, we're gonna take out the power steering pump. So we'll have to take it apart. Doesn't look like much room in here, but actually it's easy to take apart. Starting by taking the reservoir out, which only one bolt, and uh, pulls right off. That's out. Then go ahead and take this air intake uh, housing out. Unscrew it here where the pipe connects to the intake. Unplug this harness, the wire, and uh, remove two 10 millimeter. And this is out as well. It's one unit. And um, now again getting deeper to the engine. Uh, these holes are attached with a clip that goes in there. Make sure they're loose. And then start taking out 10 millimeter bolts. One on the left, one on the right. And there are a few, uh, like three on this side. My finger points one, two, and same thing on the other side. And, uh, this cover is ready to come out. It's in two pieces. It connects to the bottom half and the upper half. So once you take this out, you can expose the engine to do any work you want. Okay, make the housing here uh, coming out easier. We'll have to remove this pipe, unscrew. This pipe is out. So that makes it easier for things to be exposed. Now I gotta just lift the pipes. You can see this part is really coming out at this point. So I gotta use my both hands to take it out as I try to video and work. Okay, to make it easier to remove the fan housing or the seal here, I remove the hose from the radiator. It gives more flexibility, more room. And uh, I can see it wants to come out now small details but basically it's already out okay the Chevy van uh, radiator cover is out that's what it looks like the bottom piece it, you have to just remove it as well if you like if not the top piece can it just clips on and bolts on power steering is down below the alternator I'm going to remove the belt for now and I'm going to see step by step which way to go to remove it. To remove the serpentine belt in these cars, uh, simply uh, find the tensioner, which is right here, and try to press. You can have a different tool to use, it's fine, but you can see how now it's moving and I'm able to release it. So I'm going to use both of my hands to do so, but that's how you do it. To take out the pump, you have to remove the pulley first. So to do so, you need a special tool for it. And you have to rent it or buy it from... Also, you have to take out the tire and um, remove the plastic cover that above the wheel to access the power steering pump in the back it's uh, <clears throat> very helpful because now you know when the wheel is out you can see inside the engine the back down there you can see the hoses to disconnect also there are a couple of fill, uh, bolts uh, there already removed it's a little bracket uh, one bolt goes into the pump and one goes onto the engine and now we have to remove the other three bolts and to do so we have to remove the pulley first okay this is a rental tool from AutoZone and 
the puller for pulling out the pulleys. Um, this one here is to install because it pushes, and this one here is to remove. The right tool, um, what you gotta do is place these two pieces where the pulley is in the back. Look the tool in the back, down below you can see that extra lip that will go behind the pulley and then you can put this bracket over it to keep it in place and install the screw and push it out. Now I place it on the pump itself so you can see that. First you put the two halves and then over the cover to hold it in place. Now it's a little difficult when you do it with the fan on. I had the fan off before and anybody wants to do so. It's a special tool required to take the nut behind. In my other video had to remove the fan when I did the water pump. So anyway, now that uh, this is on, what we gotta do is uh, place this bolt inside like that and by tightening the ball it will start doing its work the puller start doing its work and start pulling it apart you can see that into a 21 millimeter and I believe it's uh, or 60 millimeter here I'll tell you soon it is you have to have two tools one to hold the nut for the puller and you can see it in here where the wrench, the wrench is, so you have to hold it, the, the fan clutch is in the way, if you have the tools take it out, best to take it out, if not, try to work around it, so connect the pull, and try to pull straight up, it was rusted, uh, very difficult to come out at this point, but it's coming out. Okay, I just pulled out the, the pulley, and uh, it's been difficult to come out. So now I gotta separate it, so you can see it's out. Expose the bolts in the back, the bolts for the power stream pump, and disconnect the hose from the back. Removing the third ball, it's a 15 millimeter, and looks like the pump is out. Okay, the Chevy van, we got the new pump. Okay, get ready, the pump is ready to install. Now we have to, uh, you know, install at one point after the pump is on. I want to put this pulley back and uh, here is to install because it pushes and this one here is to remove. Make sure the threads and the install tools are good ones because if it's not good, when it goes into the pump, for installation, it won't be good enough to push. I ran the tool from AutoZone and the threads here, the front on the pusher, it was damaged and I can mess up my new pump and I won't be able to push the pulley. Okay, so let's install the pump and then we'll install the hoses in the back and then install the pulley with the, with the pusher here. Okay, the new pump is installed, uh, nothing to it. Just drop the pump between the space here and uh, the off-market one came with four bolts or four holes just make sure yours align two on this side and one on the other side uh, best thing to do this is go from the side of the car and uh, actually there is a wire harness on your way I use the dump cables here and hook it up so right now there is the pump I get my hands from here very simple and now they have to get the hoses in the back connected one on the top one here too and one on the other one the bracket that connects to the engine and the pump is all set at the pressure hose before we, we connect back to the pump there is an o-ring right here at the front right here i don't know if you can see it i just replace it so it's a good idea to do so um, this is what it looks like it's a very uh, teeny little one. Start with a pressure hose, which is a little problem to get into, but if you go work on the side of the car and you move the harness of the wires up there a little bit, uh, you'll be able to do so easily. 
Okay? Okay, working on the hoses still. And um, again, this is the correct tool for the job. If I turn it at a time, once you get the pressure fitting, the pressure hose tied down, then the rest of it is just a piece of cake. So, try. Okay, the pump is in. All three hoses are in. I replaced the clamps with something other. It's uh, not easy to take the factory one off. Same thing on the top there. So all three hoses are one, two, three set. The pump is tightened down, except the rear bracket and the pulley. Okay, installing the pulley. Um, it's not going to be easy. And um, like I said, it would be easier all the time to do it with the fan off. But at this point, I don't have the special tools for it, so... Anyway, I'm going to try to install the puller, but this time will be a pushing and I tap it a little bit with a, a light hammering to hold it in place. So now I'm going to install the pusher. Okay, working on the pusher now. This is what it looks like. Uh, try to unscrew it so it can go in. You cannot see it right now because it's, uh, the fence on the way. But I'm trying to turn this bolt here to get the threads into the pump. The pump inside has a thread. As far as it goes, because it's going to be a lot, uh, you know, difficult task to push the, the pulley back in. It's pressed in. So I went, it's all I can do right now. Is, uh, tie, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the pulley, the pusher. I tied this nut all the way in, and then I'm going to try to tie this one, and that will push it. Okay, the power string pump is in, the belt is in. Um, you can see my other video on how to remove the time, serpentine belt, but uh, the power string uh, pump uh, was a little difficult uh, because of uh, they have to be the pulley has to be pushed in, and uh, that's not an easy task. So, if you're not uh, confident, don't do it. Hire a mechanic. We're also going to need uh, this 5 8 type of wrench that has to be opened for the pressure line. You take the pump out without the uh, puller. You cannot take the pump out, so don't try it. Good luck, you guys. The seven then power steel pump was done. The car is running good. The pump is all the way down there, the new part. It's not leaking or anything, I put that with power steering fluid and um, everything is good, nothing leaks under the car. To take out the air bubbles, what you do is you rotate the steering non-stop to one way and then non-stop to the other side, to the end and reverse a few times, back and forth, it will take the air bubbles. Set, good luck.